Good morning and welcome to St. Bartholomew's Church on this seventh Sunday after Easter. We now arrive at that period between the ascension of Christ and Pentecost. We mark that particular period in the life of the church by joining together as we pray, Thy kingdom come. So it's been a great privilege and a pleasure uh, to pray alongside, especially this week, our brothers and sisters in the churches of Ashington and Seatonhurst, as well as our own Wood Hormuth New Biggin, as we continually look for the coming of the kingdom of God through his son Jesus Christ and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which is for you and for me, for the whole church, as we rejoice that each one of us is called by name and is loved by God and held in his hands. And so we meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for the Seventh Sunday of Easter. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven, we beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence, with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now, they know everything that you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them. And know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so now, in the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us join together as we set aside a short period of prayer as we offer our prayers for the Church, for our communities, for families and friends and neighbours, for those in need. Gracious God, as we rejoice in the ascension of your Son, Jesus Christ, into heaven, and as we continually 
celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us, upon your church. We pray for the church on earth. We pray especially today for this Diocese of Newcastle, for Bishop Christine and Bishop Mark, for our parish of Woodhorn with Newbiggin, and for our brothers and sisters at Ashington and in Seton Hurst. For every opportunity to join together in prayer as we set our sights on the coming of the Kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, we pray for our community. We pray for Newbiggin, for Woodhall. We pray especially at this time for those who are anxious about the future as a result of the current crisis, for those who are worried about livelihoods, about their families and households. We pray also thanks for those few businesses that are now able to, at least in part, resume normal service. We pray for all of our local businesses here in this town, for our high street. We pray that they would find some prosperity and security in this time and that they may once more be a place of community and gathering. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so, Lord, as we remember that your Son, Jesus Christ, came and walked among us, we pray for the entire world and for all of its needs, for our continued response to this pandemic, but not forgetting those other events in the world which now fail to reach the news, for those places which are savaged by war, for aid agencies and voluntary workers and those who put their lives at risk and sacrifice their comforts and freedoms for the sake of others. And we pray for an end to all hostility and for that time when all peoples would live in peace one with another. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Gracious God, we pray now for those in need, in body, mind or spirit. We especially remember those living with mental health conditions, for those who are anxious or depressed, for those who are struggling with the consequence of addictions, for mental health services in our region, and especially for those who are now responding to the needs of those whose lives have been impacted by poor mental health, and especially so because of the COVID-19 outbreak. We pray by name for those who we know to be in need at this time, holding them now in a moment before God. Grant to them comfort, strength and healing. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so now we pray for all those who have departed this life, for those who we love and see no more, for the repose of the souls of George Baldwin, Susan Porter, John Spowart, Colin Mountford, Evangeline Winifred Turnbull, and Thomas McCall, and any others who we know who have left this life. As well as for those whose year's mind falls at this time. May they rest in peace. 
and rise in glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so now, as we commend ourselves before God, we unite these and all of our prayers as we rejoice in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Bartholomew, Apostle and a patron to this church. And we say, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so now we proclaim Christ's peace. For God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us and as a pledge of what is to come has given the spirit to dwell in our hearts. Alleluia. And so may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And so now as we do joyfully receive God's peace into our homes and our families, our friends, families and neighbours, we conclude as we ask for God's blessing upon us on this day, remembering always that he is present with us in times of joy as well as in times of grief, and that we continually look for the signs of his kingdom among us as we rejoice that he has sent his Son to be among us, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so the spirit of truth leads you into all truth, give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and strengthen you to proclaim the word and works of God, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. And go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>